Hello and in this video you'll learn how to create this awesome image carousel with React, Tailwind CSS and Framer Motion. Without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so the first thing we can do is go into our React Vite app, go into our components folder and create a file called image slider.jsx. In here we can run REFC to create a basic React component. If you can't do that, you can go to extensions and use this extensions for React snippets. Finally, what we need to do is go to app.jsx and import and implement the image slider in the main app. Also, what we can do is go to our terminal and run npm run dev to run the project on localhost. We can go back into the image slider and make the imports. First of all, we can actually stop the terminal from running for now and install Framer Motion. So we can say npm install Framer Motion. Once that is done, we'll also need to import some images. For the images, we can go to our open cards component and copy the images from here. I'll also have a Google Drive link to these images. So we can do that and say import motion from framer-motion. Usually we start with the JSX, but now we'll make the functionality as the JSX is really tied to it. So first thing we can do is use a use state snippet and say position index and change this to capital P and make the default value an array of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Also, we can import use state. A cool trick I found is that you can double click on the word, press control space, and you'll have all the available imports. So as you can see, you automatically imported the use state. Now we'll make the function that makes everything move. So we can say const handle next equals, so basic arrow function with no params. We can actually change this name to position indexes instead of index, although it doesn't matter too much. And we can say set position indexes, prev indexes, make this a callback function, and in here say const updated indexes equals prev indexes dot map prev index, a single one, and we can say prev index plus one and divided, rather the number left from dividing by number of five. So why five? Because we're going to have five images. If this will be more, we'll need more numbers over here and a bigger number over here. Also, we can do is say return updated indexes. And we're actually done with this function. Next, we'll need an array of images. So we can say const images equals city1, city2, city3, planet1, and planet2. So just make an array of all the images that you're planning to use in this image slider. Also, we'll need an array of positions. So we can say positions equals center. We'll need everything to be in a string. So we can say left one, left, right, and right one. And now we can move on to the final part of our functionality, which is the image variance. Image variance, like this. This is going to be an object with all of the positions and sizes of the images. So we can say center is another object with an X of 0%, a scale of 1, simply a normal image, and a Z index of 5, which means it's going to be above all the other images. Now we can actually copy this four more times. So we can say like this, 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 this. The next one is going to be left one. It is going to have an X of minus 50%. A scale of 0 0.7 and a z index of 2. Next is going to be simply left with an x of minus 90%, a 
a scale of 0 0.5 and the Z index of 1. We can actually copy this and replace it with like this and make it right. Because the right is going to be very similar to the left. It's simply going to be 90% without the minus. The rest is the same. We can also copy left one, paste it over here, and make it right one. And simply remove the minus. Now all of our functionality is done. And finally, we can move on to our JSX. In here, we can have a div, which is going to have a class name. So add a class name over here of flex items dash center, flex dash call, justify dash center, bg dash black, and h dash screen. Next, we can say dynamic block images dot map image open a return statement and say motion dot image. And this is going to be a self closing tag. And we'll also need to add an index over here. All right, now let's fill in this image. So we can say the key is equal to the index, the source is equal to the image, the alt is equal to the image. Next, we can have a class name of this and rounded dash 12 pixels. Next, we can say the initial position is center. We can give it an animate. So an animate like this. Say positions. Position indexes. Index like this. Next, we can give it some variants which are the image variants. We can say transition, which is going to be another array and say duration of 0 0.5. And finally, we can say style, a width of 40% and a position of absolute. And this part should be done. We have one small error in the fact that this should be IMG, not image. Otherwise, we can go into our local host and see what's up. So here is our website. And here we have all of the images exactly as we want them to. The only thing left is to add the button, which is really simple. And so what we can do is go back to our Visual Studio code, go under these brackets and create a normal button, which is going to say next. This button is going to have a class name of text dash white, modern top of 400 pixels, bg dash indigo dash 400, rounded dash md, padding y-2 padding x-4 and it's going to have an on click property of handle next so what we can do is go back here uh it's lagging slightly so yeah the button is here and when we click next everything works the movement is smooth and perfect so yeah thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thank you